Hey, what's up everybody? Bringing a special little message to you today from Instigation Nation. And this is what it is. These martial artists and these wrestlers, ever, th these guys know this, these fighter guys, which I'm sorry to, to, to shock you, I am not one of. But I do know a little bit about their philosophies and their teachings, right? And everybody's probably heard this, to use the weight of your opponent against them as leverage, right? To, overtake them and do what they do once they do that. Something happened today in the life of K6, K6 as we are affectionately referring to ourselves as, our family. And I wanted to, to share the principle out of it without telling you about it yet. I'm going to tell you, I already shot that video, but I'm not gonna release that video for a little while because it's a timing thing and I wanna share it with you. So something happened, a little bit of adversity today that came our way and no big deal, you'll see. I'm wearing the same shirt in the other video so pay attention down the road. I want to encourage you to get rid of the idea that things are good or things are bad, okay? We are trained to think that things are good or bad that happen to us. Now, I'm not saying that things aren't difficult and, and there's other things that make life easy that occur. Don't go there. Look, we're talking about giving something a definition. I stub my toe. Here's a, here's a little analogy, right? I, I stub my toe and I, I broke it. I actually did that in December. Oh no, that's bad. So I go to the ER and then they're resetting it. And then I meet someone who's fixing my toe who happens to know somebody that they're gonna connect me to that's either gonna advance my cause in business, serving people through Instigation Nation, or maybe they know somebody that can help my kid with private lessons in baseball. These things happen, right? Don't we all, we can connect to that. We, we get a flat tire and then we gotta take it to a shop or get it repaired and then we meet somebody along the way or talk to somebody on the phone and, and there's another connection there that never would have happened if the bad thing never occurred in our life. I'm not saying there aren't tragedies. We all know this, but one of my mentors and coaches says that the best, the worst day of our life can be the best day of our life if we understand how to frame things and use them to our advantage. A little way that I do this is nothing happens to me, everything happens for me. Got it from that same coach. I use it all the time completely has changed my outlook and the training that I was conditioned with that things are good or bad. Oh, I got a new job. That's good, most people think. Well, what if your boss is Hitler or someone like him? Maybe a cousin that was carrying on the mission. But you don't find that out until later. What if your spouse is psychotic, but you don't know that when you're getting married? Oh, I got married. It's so good. We define things so quickly and then we get let down because we, we go into them wrongly. So, an exercise that I did from Bob Proctor, and I'm mentioning his name because he's a very powerful communicator and teacher, and, and he helps people break through. And he's helped me. One of the exercises that he does is has people write with their non-dominant hand their name a handful of times in one of in his seminars. And I started doing that, and I was writing. Now, see, I, I grew up being, don't, I'm, this is gonna sound weird to some people, but stay with me, I'm not totally nuts. I was trained to think that I was a right-hander. I don't know why, maybe I picked up a, a spoon with a rubber, you know, uh, the, the little baby spoons with the rubber deal on them, and I picked up my spoon to feed myself for the first time and I grabbed it with my right hand because maybe my left hand was stuck underneath my butt or something, I, I have no idea. But then I get labeled a right-hander, right? And I'm sure it was maybe a little bit more complex than that, but my whole life I've been told I'm a right-hander. I got two of them. Thank God for that. Maybe if you were born with only one hand, you could say you're a right-hander, because that would be true. I got two hands. Who says I gotta be limited to just this guy? So in the last month and a half, I've been writing my name every single day with my left hand, and now I'm starting to write in my notebook and write down my goals only left-handed. It looks a little bit like it, but I'm still doing it. I'm transitioning. It's all to help me reframe things, and that's the point of this that I'm sh sharing with you. 
understand that nothing happens to you. It happens for you, especially if you got a relationship with God and you're trying to follow what he wants for you and you're going down that route, guess what? He's not surprised when the bad thing happens in your life. Stop calling it that. If it wasn't there to serve your goals, serve your mission, serve your family's well-being, it wouldn't occur. Don't believe me? Look in the scripture. I have nothing but good planned for you. I have plans to give you hope and a future, not harm. He holds victory in store for the upright. All these things. Romans 8.28, I can do all things through, I'm sorry. All things work together for the good for those who love and who are called according to his purpose. Is this right? Is this, is this some truth that some of us believe? It's what I believe. So if all things work together for the good, for those of you who need straight scripture, I'm giving to you right now. All things work together for the good. It doesn't mean that all things feel good or all things are nice and pleasant and hunky-dory. It means they all work together to serve the good. If you have dreams and desires of your heart, the dreams and desires of the righteous are fulfilled and it's sweet like honey, the Bible says. The desires of the righteous are fulfilled. Look, side note, if some of you got parents and teachers telling you that you're nuts, that you're not quite up to speed, maybe you should go do these jobs over here that don't require as much intelligence, intelligence as over here. You need to like be respectful and honor these people with your silence. Block them out. They are pure poison in your life. Get away from them. There's that soapbox. So look, all things work together for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Instigation Nation serves that kind of person as well. So look, if that's happening, here's my little catchphrase that I heard somewhere, sometime, it's not my original idea, as though any of us have one of those. It's all out there, the, the foo-foo stuff, right? Pay attention. If that's the truth, and it is, that all things work together for the good, Put this little phrase into your life, I guarantee you things will change for you. I guarantee it. Man, everything's always working out for me. Everything's always working out for me. Why? Because I love God and I'm called according to his purpose, so everything works together for the good. It's a nice little phrase, a little, a little motto even, that you can live by. And when you start framing things that way, when the stuff hits you like that hit us this morning, you can take it, bear the initial back blast of the blow, right? And, and then settle yourself. It took me a very short time to get resettled, continue my studying when I could have been very distracted. A year ago, I'd be on the couch or in front of the computer watching motivational videos on YouTube all day long, drinking coffee, feeling sorry for myself. Today, I took the initial blow, I kept moving. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna study my word. I'm gonna write down my goals and my vision that God has put in my heart that I'm going to achieve. As a matter of fact, they're already done. I just have to get to that point in the timeline. And it's not here yet. I was already in Florida a year ago, but it took a little bit of time for us to get here. Or two years ago, or three years ago, right? You have a vision in your heart, it's coming. Realize that whatever comes to you on the path to it is not success or failure. It's not good or bad. It's necessary for the attainment of the goal. When you can see it like that, you can use it. And then I wrote down my goals, and then I was all inspired, started taking some action toward our goals, and now I'm making the video for you guys, and it is what it is. It's the truth. So pay attention, use the thing that hits you for the good of what you're trying to accomplish, and stop looking at things like you're meant to fail, or it's not meant to be, or why does this keep happening to me? Stop being a victim. It serves you none. None at all. And start understanding that everything happens for you. God's not surprised. You are a victor. You're a champion. You really truly are. And when you can start acting like one and getting back up, Rocky, then you can start really gaining momentum and advancement in your own life. And when it's really tough, man, take a minute. Take a minute. It's cool to be human. It's cool to let stuff hit you. It's cool to say this sucks. Don't stay there. Don't stay there very long. Don't stay there. You have greatness ahead of you. God is for you. He's not against you no matter what you've heard. And Instigation Nation is here for you. 
Check out the blogs. Subscribe to the website if you would. I'm not selling anything but ideas. Take them, leave them. Don't matter to me. I don't care. I'm going to do this regardless. Let me know how we can help. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the messages that you think would help somebody else. And uh, keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. It's all for you. Love you.